Hey, uh, just a quick video review of the Vivor Ultrasonic Cleaner uh, I got from Amazon. Uh, as you can see, this is model number uh, PS28. It's advertised at uh, 3 liter capacity with uh, built in heater and digital timer. Uh, stainless steel construction. Uh, it certainly appears to be stainless steel. Uh, it definitely has a built in heater that works. Uh, it's definitely got a timer that works. Uh, and before we get any further, the ultrasonic cleaner works. It, it cleans things, that's great. That's exactly why you would buy one, because you want to clean something. It'll do that, no problem. Uh, my my real beef with this is uh, that it is advertised as a, as a three liter capacity ultrasonic cleaner, uh, which I figured would be great. That's gonna be big enough to put, you know, all kinds of things in, carburetors and car parts and household stuff and like every scrap of jewelry my wife owns should all fit in there, no problem. Um, but as you can see, this is the actual cleaning uh, tank and maybe if there were nothing else inside this whole thing it might hold three liters worth of liquid. Um, but the actual cleaning tank only goes down to about here. Uh, the rest of that I assume is taken up with electronics. Um, so let's just take a quick look. I've got a a uh, two liter bottle of water. We're going to see exactly how much water will fit in here and how close we get to three liters. Uh, and then we'll clean something just for fun. That is up to the fill line, and as you can see, not even two liters uh, on uh, what's advertised as a three liter capacity unit, uh, which is definitely a little disappointing, uh, misleading. I mean, I don't know how they calculate that, and to be fair, the ad on Amazon does give you the dimensions of the cleaning tank. Um, if you want to do a little math, you can figure out your own uh, capacity and see that it's not anywhere near three liters. Uh, but let's take a whack at it anyway. So we'll add uh, just a little bit of dish soap here. And it does come with a, a nice little basket. So it's a nice touch and a lid, uh, which is good if you've got the heater going. Uh, you will evaporate your whatever you're cleaning with pretty quickly, so the lid is a, is a nice touch. Uh, so we'll just put the basket in there. The basket has convenient little handles for getting it back out. Also has little rubber pads on the feet, which is kind of nice so it doesn't scratch up the bottom of your tank. Presumably, eventually, it would just eat its way right through that metal vibrating back and forth. Uh, and we're going to clean. This is um, just a part of a old mechanical fuel pump off of a, off an old truck that I had. And it's gross and dirty. Uh, so we're going to drop it in here and see what kind of cleaning we can get out of it. Uh, the heater does take a little while. It's, uh, I think, a 100-watt heater, uh, and it is still early March, so it is not exactly warm out here in the workshop. So we're not going to deal with the heater. Uh, you could start with warm water, which would be helpful, but I uh, started with just cold tap water. So uh, we'll go ahead and kick this sucker off. Uh, we're just going to go with the default five minutes here, and uh, we'll come back at the end and take a look and see how it looks. Actually, you might want to see it run for a few seconds, although it's kind of an annoying sound. <laughs>
not perfect, but not bad at all. Especially when you consider that this fuel pump is 47 years old, so. Uh, yeah, pretty good. So, I'm happy with it. I just wish it were either advertised accurately or um, actually held it three liters, but either way, uh, it works well. Sure. Check it out a little bit. 